Okay guys, we're gonna do a how-to on how to replace the lower main board within the Mavic. That's the very bottom one, uh, the one that has uh, all the sensors and the big heat sink under it. Um, well, let's not go into why you might need to replace that, uh, maybe a bricket or whatnot, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace it anyway. So uh, here's my, my Mavic, it's got a lower board that's out. Uh, here's the lower board that I went ahead and bought. I got it off of eBay. It cost, uh, I think, 136 bucks. Uh, showed up, came with the board, uh, came with the heat sink below, and then some screws. So just pop it off here. You can see this is what the, the lower board looks like. It's got uh, some of the, the downward sensors. Uh, this one was cool. Uh, it came with a, a 16 gig uh, SD card there as well, or micro SD. You can see there's the heat sink. So it came with all of that. A little bit more expensive than I would have liked. Again, 136 bucks on uh, on eBay. I've got some tools over there. Um, so I've got a hex, got some different tools. We're going to use a spreader, uh, some tweezers, and whatnot. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip it over so that we can access the the belly of it. Uh, you'll see here that there are a total of um, eight screws. We're going to go ahead and undo. Um, six of the screws are similar, two of them are a little bit different. Don't worry about that for right now. So go ahead and uh, use one of your, your hex um, screwdrivers there. Go ahead and undo all eight of those screws. Uh, I recommend setting them aside in a uh, small little bowl. Um, you can use a washcloth or something there. Uh, I like to just kind of drop them on a washcloth, that way they don't bounce away. Uh, but again, probably just make sure that you set them aside in a bowl or, or something of that regard. Okay, it should be pretty quick to, uh, to get these eight screws off. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, shouldn't require too much force either. They should come out pretty easily. Uh, something I do want to call out is the, the middle two here that I'm about to do. Uh, when you pull those out, you'll notice that the holes that go into uh, and the screws themselves are a little bit different. They've got a little bit bigger body on those. And so we're going to want to make sure that we put those back into the, uh, the exact same spot here. And when we do the, the reinstall, uh, but again, I'll take you through the whole thing here. So. Again, go ahead and remove all of those uh, those screws. There should be eight total, and then set those aside. Uh, this particular screw on the uh, the bottom right corner had some glue inside of the uh, the threads there, uh, so I had to use uh, some sharp tweezers get a little bit of that glue out of there. Um, hadn't seen that before actually on uh, my other Mavic. Uh, none of the other screws had any glue in it, but just yeah, if you've got a little bit of glue in any of the screws, um, go ahead and just uh, get something sharp in there and just, just pull it out real safely. So once that's done, you should be able to just kind of use your fingernails and pull that heat sink off. It should come off real easy. It shouldn't be sticky or anything. Uh, and then once that's off, uh, we'll expose it here. You can see we've got the board. Uh, here's a comparison of the new board. Uh, it's always a good idea to just kind of look over the old one, look over the new one, see where everything is going to connect. You can see the antennas in there. <clears throat> There's going to be a couple uh, additional ribbons that we're going to do. Um, you can see here that there's also a couple screws that we're going to need to take out. And so just give it a good look over. Uh, you can kind of see what you're getting into and then we can go ahead and get rolling. All right, so set your new one aside uh, once you've had a good look over there. <clears throat> and then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna use this little spreader tool. On the back half, uh, there will be three of these, these ribbons that are connected. They're just little joints that are, uh, that are popped on. They come off really easy. Uh, you can use a little spreader tool like this or uh, you can use your fingernail. Uh, be very gentle with it. Uh, you don't wanna tear the ribbon, uh, but they should pop off very, very gently. Um, once you pop them off, I should require just a, a tad, just a little bit of force. At that point, uh, you can kind of just bend them out of the way. Um, the two outer ones and then the third one there, you're just gonna wanna gently bend out of the way so that eventually we can kind of pull that main board up and out. <clears throat> okay, so this is a, a good top-down look of the, the board. We've got those three ribbons disconnected. Um, just wanna take a look real quick. You've got three additional screws. Uh, these aren't gonna be hooks. These are gonna be a regular Phillips bit. Um, so go ahead and uh, get your Phillips screwdriver out. Let's go ahead and take off these three screws. Uh, probably doesn't really matter what order you take them off in. Uh, again, make sure that you set them aside in a small little bowl, a dish, or something similar, um, just to make sure that they're, they're safe, on the, safe and sound. So we do the one on the left corner there. We'll go ahead and move over to the, the right corner. Let's 
take that out. It definitely helps if you have a, a magnetic screwdriver or a magnetic bit. It just pulls it right out of there. And then go ahead and uh, move it around on the, the very next side. Now you'll notice when you undo this one that <clears throat> under it is a little black piece of uh, I call it paper, a little piece of plastic there that's kind of protective covering. That's not the the ribbon itself, um, but rather it's a protective covering on, on that part of the uh, the board. Um, a lot of cases what I see is that screw will get stuck on the plastic, and so undo the screw, just kind of push the plastic down around it, uh, it'll kind of push through and then you'll be able to get the screw out without any problems. Okay, once we've got all three of those screws undone, uh, we're going to go ahead and tackle the antennas. Uh, if you look here on the, the back, you've got four um, uh, gold little connectors here. A couple of them have some wires. So these are the antennas for the aircraft. So um, there's a lot of ways you can pull these off. Um, you can use a little blue spreader tool like this. Uh, you can use your fingernail. Um, be careful just that you, you pop them off. You don't cause any damage to the wires. Uh, but we want to go ahead and just pop off all four of these. So I'll go ahead and do the, the first one here. Um, the little tool wasn't working that well, so I went ahead and just used my fingernail. Um, you can see here I can pop it off using some tweezers very, very gently. So just go ahead and pop all four of those off the, the best that you can. Again, be gentle. Uh, on the long one, you'll notice there that there's a little bit of glue and a little uh, connector that it's in to hold it in place. Uh, just gently pull it out of that little connection, pull that glue up, uh, and then go ahead and pull the antennas the best you can out of the way because uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to try to pull that board out of there. Uh, you want to make sure that those are out of the way nice and well so that you can get clearance and uh, you can get that board straight up out of there without any problems. Okay, you can see here I'm just gently bending the, uh, the small ones back. I'll try to keep them in the same order they're in. Uh, next, I want you to take a look at the top of the board. You'll notice this little uh, plug in here, little clip on it. So there's a little ribbon that's going to go here as well. And so uh, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to flip that black thing up so that you can put it in there, um, and then we're going to pull it out. So I'll just put the new one against the old one here. You can see there the, the bottom left corner, it's got that little ribbon. Um, it's got a little bit of black glue on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to get that glue off first. Um, <clears throat> And so uh, when, we, when we look at that, and actually, sorry, what I'm going to do is we're just going to lift it up a little bit here first, um, just kind of get the, the board out so that it's ready to go. Um, that allows me to, to jostle it with that, that ribbon as well. So uh, when you're doing it, make sure that on the far side where the SD card is, you can see my fingernail pushing there, it'll get caught on that plastic. Uh, and so kind of pull it to the side. Uh, you can push that out with either some tweezers or your fingernail, and then it'll come up real easy. Uh, don't pull it all the way up because we do, we've got to get that ribbon first. Uh, so we've got it all loosened up, and then you want to go ahead and tackle getting that ribbon off. So go ahead and flip that little black thing up. Be very careful, don't break that. Uh, and then you'll see a glob of glue there. Uh, so we got to pick that glue off so that we can actually get the, uh, the ribbon disconnected. Um, use some tweezers very gently if you can. Um, use your fingernail. Um, you can use a little poker tool. Just make sure that you don't poke any holes in the ribbon itself. Um, some of the, uh, the Mavics have done this on, it's really easy. Some of the glue is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so again, just be really careful. We just want to get that glue off of there. Um, I don't recommend just pulling the ribbon out. Um, it'll get the glue off, yeah, but you could hurt some of the connections. You could rip it. We've got to be very, very careful with that. Uh, so let's take our time. Uh, just get that, that glue off, you know, the right way. So. Okay, so once you've done that, go ahead and pull the ribbon out. Uh, and then at that point, there's nothing stopping you from getting the board out. So you can gently pull the board out. <clears throat> once the board's pulled out, this is what it looks like. And so for uh, reinstall, we're basically just going to do the same thing, um, but the other way around. So here's the board. Again, we want to have the, uh, the sensors, in this case, facing up. That's going to be the, the bottom side. Uh, make sure that you get the antennas down there all, all lined up with everything. Uh, on the top half, go ahead and make sure all those uh, the ribbons are pushed apart so you can get it in there real good. Like um, uh, Where that long antenna is on the left there, make sure that it's free of the plastic. It's not caught in between the, the board and the plastic. Um, just kind of play with it a little bit. And just get it so it'll sit right down in there. It shouldn't require any force or anything. As long as everything's moved out of the way, the ribbon's not in the way, uh, the antennas aren't in the way, um, it should just fit down in there without any problems. And so once we've got it uh, back in there, um, really we wanted to, you know, basically put it back together. Um, and so in this case, I was uh, wanting to make sure after we, we get it seated in there, we're going to go ahead and put the, the ribbon back in. 
And so you can see there, we're gonna get that ribbon back in there, just push it into the slot very gently. Once it's in there, uh, kind of show you here, uh, you just push that black clip down, it'll lock that in place. Um, you can play around with it again at the, the end if you want to. I like to do it right now where I kind of got the board a little more free. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and secure it in. Again, make sure that we can clear all of those ribbons and everything without any issues. And then you can see on the uh, the top there, I've got that little flap to the area with the SD card and the Wi-Fi switch. Um, the little bottom part of it doesn't always line up well, so when you put the board in, make sure that you put it in an angle so that the little nub on that little uh, that little door that covers the SD card, um, that it goes in without any problems. And when you when you do this install, that'll make a lot more sense when you see it. I didn't get a, a great shot on video here of that little nubbin, but it'll make a lot more sense. You just don't want it on the outside. You want it on the inside of the body. Okay, so uh, what we're looking at now is um, basically just getting the, the antenna free um, from the, the side plastic over there. Uh, it looks like I had it caught up just a little bit. So I was getting that free so that it will, will pull out. Again, before you put the board down and actually get everything put in place, then we'll go ahead and take care of that. Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and put the, the, the ribbons on the top part there. Um, these should go in really easy. It's nothing, you know, it's not rocket science. Uh, you just kind of put it down where the hole is and you just push it in. You should feel it very gently just kind of push, push in place. If you don't feel it push in place, then the, um, the ribbons aren't lined up properly. Um, they should go in very, very easily. You should feel almost a little click. You'll definitely feel it move down, you know, maybe um, uh, a millimeter or two. Uh, maybe not that much, but you, you'll feel it kind of go down. And so um, go ahead and get all three of the, the gimbal ribbons in place. Um, hopefully the, the cam shot here up next will show a little more close up here. Um, but again, all three of them needed to be put in. Just go ahead and put them in over the top, firmly push it in. Um, so you can see here, I've, I've got all three of them in. Uh, just get it just over the hole and just push down nice and firm. It should pop right in place. If it doesn't you know, pop right into place, you might have the, um, the alignment off just a little bit on it. Uh, try not to force it. it. It shouldn't be really hard to go in. It'll take a good little firm push, but uh, nothing too complicated. So. Okay, so once we've got that done, we want to focus on the antennas on the top. So you can see here that I'm basically uh, bending that top antenna in, putting it back in that little, um, that little bracket thing that we pulled it out of, and then go ahead and secure it back in place. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and do that one first, and then the next two, you want to go ahead and just uh, pop into place the best that you can. You can use your fingernails, you can use tweezers, um, there's probably a lot of different ways that you can do this. Whatever works best. And again, for the antenna, you should just feel a little clip. Um, you don't want to, to bend or break anything. It should just go on really easily. And so uh, do that for the long one, do it for the two short ones. And then for the one over on the side, go ahead and uh, bend it back over. Uh, again, make sure it's inside of the body or the shell there. Uh, and then go ahead and click it in place. Now, what I like to do is I kind of like to get it over the top. And then I use the very bottom or the back half of my, uh, my tweezers, that flat part, and just use it to push down real good. It's a nice firm, um, firm press in there. And again, if these ones don't go on, then you may not have them lined up uh, exactly right. Again, we don't want to bend or break anything. Uh, they should go on fairly simple. It's going to take a firm little press, but they should go on pretty easy. You'll feel a little click as well. Okay, so once we've got the antennas on, uh, we've got the ribbon cables on, um, you can go ahead and put your SD card in at this point. Uh, make sure that it, it works. You can go ahead and secure that little door there. Uh, and then really the next step is going to be for us to uh, get the, the heat sink and, or sorry, not the heat sink. Uh, we're gonna get those three screws. So let's go ahead and get the three screws. Uh, those are Phillips screws. Uh, we're gonna put the three screws back in the board, attach it back into the aircraft. And then once we're done with the three screws, we can go ahead and uh, reinstall the heat sink and we'll be good to go. So go ahead and uh, put the first one on the top there. Uh, grab your second one. Uh, go ahead and put it into the lower right hand corner. Um, what I like to do is I like to put these almost in all the way. I don't like to tighten them down snug all the way. Uh, but get them almost all the way down, and then I go back through once and I tighten everything so that they're equally tight. Um, I think firm is good here. Don't overstress the uh, the screws. We don't want to strip anything. We don't want to break anything. We don't want to clamp the, uh, the board down too tight. 
Okay, so once you've got the uh, the three screws down there, we're basically done on the inside. Uh, again, make sure your antenna cables are all inside, and then go ahead and put the uh, the heat sink on. Again, there are eight screws total. Um, Oh, and when you put the, the heat sink on there, you see that little nubbin on that, that plastic side? Um, go ahead and put it on first and then drop the other side down. That'll make sure that it gets it inside of the case and you don't have a little nubbin sticking out. I think I mentioned that earlier as well. So once you get that down in there, it should just sit right into place. Again, there's eight screws. Six of them are gonna be similar, two are gonna be dissimilar. The two that are dissimilar are gonna go in your, your middle two holes there, um, closest to the XD card. Uh, the other six, go ahead and just put it in there in the regular spots. And this last part is, is pretty simple, to be honest, guys, right? We're just putting some screws back in there. Uh, it should be pretty apparent if you look at the size of the holes and the, uh, the heat sink on the bottom here and those, uh, those two different screws of where they'll fit, they won't fit elsewhere. Um, just a couple uh, notes here. Um, if you got a new board, highly recommend doing an IMU calibration. Uh, do compass calibrations as well. This is new hardware for your, for your aircraft. Um, uh, everything should work well otherwise. Um, uh, you might need to change your aircraft name within DGI Go. It might be whatever the aircraft name was if you uh, the, the board used. If you bought it brand new, you might actually need to, to activate it again. So don't be surprised if you uh, are asked to, to activate the aircraft. Um, but otherwise, you should be good to go. Uh, it's a fairly simple and straightforward process. It's kind of nice how they've uh, done the components on the Mavic here so that we can pull this board out really, really easily without having to go in through the top half and really, you know, doing a, a lot. Uh, it's fairly plug and play. Um, the flight controller board, on the other hand, is uh, a lot of soldering with the, the motors and the ESCs and uh, power lead and other things. So this one was actually really, really easy. So, um, you know, feel free to, to drop some comments. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, just go ahead and finish up the, the screwdrivers here, or the, uh, putting the, the screws back in, um, flip it back over, uh, you know, do an IMU calibration, compass calibrations, and you're all sorted. All right, guys, thanks very much for uh, watching the video. Uh, check out flyflydrones.com, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.